What is going on everybody? My name is Ian Robinson and today we're going to be talking about texture maps and UVs for ZBrush for iPad. So first thing we're going to do is we're going to come over here to our tool menu and we're going to scroll on down to texture map. And here you can see that we actually have the ability to select a texture map of any kind. We also have a clone texture, new texture, fixed seam, and poly paint from texture. You can see here we have a transparent slider and an anti-alias button. We also have the ability to fill a color gradient or material based on our map. We also have the ability to create from poly paint, new from masking, from UV map, UV check, vertex order, and poly order. So to show this off, let's go ahead and you can see I do have a texture here. If I turn this off, you can see I just have some very basic poly paint color. Let's go ahead and pull this off just so that it doesn't collapse as I navigate. And here, I'm going to turn this back on, and you can see that I have a texture map here that I've pulled from Substance Painter. But I want to apply this texture to the model. So I'm going to go ahead and say Poly Paint from Texture. And as long as I have RGB turned on, which is my slider over here on the left-hand side for RGB intensity, I'm going to turn that on, and I'm going to go ahead and say Poly Paint from Texture. And that is going to go ahead and apply that as a color rather than a texture. If I did not have RGB turned on and I go ahead and say apply from texture, it's just going to tell me that I need to turn on RGB, indicating that this mode has been turned off. Another thing that we can do is actually scroll on down to UV map, and now we actually have a UV map menu where you could see that you have a few different options. You have the ability to morph UV, which is a really handy feature. That allows you to flatten the model so you can see the UVs, but also too, you can sculpt on this. So at any point in time, I'm able to actually sculpt on my mesh utilizing Morph UV. I can go ahead and turn that off and actually you can see that all that scribbling actually took effect that way. It is undoable, so two finger tap to undo will actually undo those actions. You also have the ability to have a UV map size up to 8K or you have some presets down here up to 4K. You have your UV map border slider control. You also have the ability to create really quick UVs based on projection. Some of the popular ones are PUV, GUV, and AUV. You also have the ability to H repeat and V repeat. And you can also have some adjustments down here at the bottom. So going on in this example, I'm going to go ahead and just say Morph UV. Let's close this menu down. And we can show you some applications here where maybe I want to select just the box itself. So I'm going to go ahead and Control Shift drag, select this box itself, maybe grab a paintbrush and pick a different color, maybe a really deep red. And now I'm just going to come through here with a little bit of a bigger brush. And I'm just going to quickly paint in say, something like this. Or what I can do, is I can back that up, come on down to masking, come down here to the very bottom, say mask by color, and I want to actually mask by hue, or I can mask by intensity, or even mask by saturation. It's giving me some different results. And then here, I'm just going to go ahead and quickly apply that nice red color, say something like this. There we go, just as the example. And then here, we're going to go ahead and clear our mask, bring all that stuff back. Let's come on down to UV map, undo this, and now we've changed that color. And if we want to actually make this color become a texture map, we can come back to texture, come down to the bottom, say create and new from poly paint. And if I click that, you can now see that my texture map has been updated and now my cube is red. That's going to go ahead and wrap up our tutorial today. Thank you very much and hope to see you in the next one. Happy ZBrushing!